In this lesson, we will learn about protons. We've already hopefully learned that protons have positive charge. We've learned that they reside in the nucleus and that they have a mass of about one. They're pretty heavy compared to an electron. And so today we're going to learn a few other things about protons. First, and this is a huge deal, what kind of an element in an atom is depends on how many protons it has. That's all it depends on. The number of protons in the nucleus tells you whether it's a carbon atom or an oxygen atom or a chlorine atom. How many protons are in the nucleus or in the atom define what it is. And so we give this number its own name. We call this number the atomic number. The number of protons is called the atomic number. It's a definition you need to know. Uh, and we give it a symbol Z. If you ever see Z equals something, that's telling you the number of protons. It's telling you the atomic number. Z, atomic number, protons. And the last thing that we want to know about protons is that, and this is a big deal, the actual periodic table of the elements is arranged in order of a cre increasing atomic number. It goes from the smallest atomic number to the largest. If we look at a periodic table, we can see that the top left element, hydrogen, has one, one proton. That's what that number one means. And if we go over to helium, we'll see that it has two. Lithium has three. Beryllium has four, five, six, seven, eight. Those numbers are the atomic numbers. Those are how many protons those individual elements have, and that is why they are those elements. If you want to know why tungsten is tungsten, if you want to find a tungsten atom on the street and say, are you tungsten? Well, you'd count the number of protons, and if there were 74 protons in its nucleus, heck yes, that's tungsten. That's how you do that. And so we can kind of pull one particular section out here and kind of look at it. We can see that as you go left to right, they increase 19, 20, 21, 22. And those numbers are the numbers of protons. So potassium's Z number is 19. Every potassium atom has 19 protons. Every titanium atom has 22 protons. If you take a titanium atom and give it one more proton, now it has 23. It's no longer titanium. It's now vanadium. And that's how that works. So which element an atom is depends only on its number of protons, which we symbolize Z, and we call that the atomic number. That's the only thing that matters to determine what element it is. So here's an example. Oh, it gave away the ending. Hopefully you didn't see that. Oh, I should probably redo this, but it's all right. Which element is described by Z equals 25? Well, we go back here. 25, Z equals 25. That means the atomic number is 25. Well, that'd be this guy right here. That's manganese. Uh, so MN was the answer. And a different example. Uh, I could ask the question for bismuth. Go find bismuth on the periodic ta table and tell me how many protons it has. And you go do that, and I'll be done here.